It's a Sony. Look at these alien looking. <laughs> What a vibe! There you go, mate. Sony DR11s. These are from 1971, and proof that Sony's just never been good at naming things. Come on, boys, just break the streak already. Oh, it just it's like the dashboard of an old Datsun. I love it. And still, no padding. You did, it was, did 70s be different. They look fantastic though, and this is where the adjustment is. And yes, you can adjust the volume for each side because early recordings, really early stereo days, mate. They had all the drums in this side and the bass and that because they wanted it to feel super stereo so that's how you EQ'd a little bit you know there's a reason why we don't do this anymore but they're the show that Sony's been doing audio for a long time I really do enjoy me a good Sony their software is awful sorry Sony your software is awful but their hardware is just stinking great and a lot of people just know them as like the PlayStation company although they are well known for making like really contemporary noise cancelling head pahonies but these are sensible headphones but the ones i'm gonna show you are when just sony just went stuff it let's just go nuts is my privilege to put on this stinking dirty ipad the xb 1000s sony awesome name you did it you did it once well you xb 1000s or should i say jerbo 10 hundos and um uh you <laughs> Yep, it's like you're wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> well, right now you're all looking at these going, mate, I'm going to take a bit of a guess here. Are these designed for extra bass? Surely that's not what the XB stands for. My pair came in the box and, mate, XB stands for extra bass. <laughs> My pair are heavily worn and they will be leaving crumlets everywhere and all over them. Oh, it's begun. It is, it has already begun, guys. So before I begin talking about them, because they've got history, mate, we just need to hear them first. Hey, the freakish ears on a stand are here. We're covered in crumlets. And be aware, you know, you're listening through your TV speakers, your smart fridge, or whatever, right? She's just a fun bit of point of reference. And of course, we need the referee, which is the herd. 600s by um Sen Yeah they have extra bass. Funny that. And these are a pair of headphones that actually really show the weakness of those freakish ears on a stand. They don't pick up how wide headphones can feel, or the sound stage, or the imaging, or like how 3D it feels, where the like the noise is coming from. Because you know, you're looking at these and going like, okay, Sony's like, we need to make extra bass headphones. So for marketing purposes, we need to make them look like they're for spoof heads. And yeah, you know, that's the only reason why they have these insane ear pads. Uh, no, that is not true at all. So in audio, there's a lot of different speaker technology and you know how it actually makes a sound these are what's called dynamic drivers your car speakers are dynamic drivers most hi-fi equipment are dynamic drivers you know where it's got the cone and the magnet and the guy that do the thing on the back of the gerber 10 hundros box there you go that's what the actual speaker looks like it's a single piece of plastic and it makes all of the sound yeah, it's fun telling people that. For the low notes, it does big movements, and for the high notes, it does them in between. It is mental. And the idea with these guys isn't just to have extra bass. That's easy. Like, you can just go on a Windows Media Player for XP and you just drag the bass sliders up. Boom, extra bass. But not all equipment can play the lowest bass. That's why subwoofers and hi-fi rigs are so much fun because they're playing the stuff that it's not even a note anymore. It's just a, a raw frequency shaking you. Humans can hear between 20 hertz at the lowest and 20,000 hertz at the highest. I'm telling you, if you can hear 20k, you have some of the best hearing that has ever been around. And as you age, that falls in. You know, Maybe you can't hear over 16k or 15. Some people are just simply born that way. That's why recommending headphones is so hard. It's so unique. And here, I mean, it's, it's all in Japanese. These came from Japan. But this shows you the frequencies that this guy can produce. So up to 30,000. Okay, that is so far beyond what humans can do. That's getting into whale songs, you know. And hey, there are headphones that go up to 40 and beyond. But look at the low end. 
two, two hertz, 10 times lower than what humans can even hear. I mentioned in my AirPod video, like the original AirPods just can't play the super low stuff. It's like it doesn't exist. You don't even know what you're missing out on. And what's the best way to hear those low frequencies? Uh, you have a giant speaker, <laughs> something that can just push big amounts of air at low frequencies. Well, it's some vintage boys, some original K240 monitors. Made in Austria. Oh, AKG, why'd you have to be bought by Samsung? These are big, hey? These are 50 millimeter drivers. 70. 70 millimeter. That is humongous. And now let's look at these things again. So they've gone about it in like a, a really clever way. They're like, okay, we're making ultra bass headphones. They need to have the big diaphragm in there so that it can replicate those super lows. But then because they're so big, they want to get some distance from them. It's like big floor standing speakers. They sound best when you go and sit down on the couch, not if you've got your head right up against them. And then lo and behold, that's what these are doing. These are adding space between these humongous speakers for the tuning. And then, you know, just make them pillows. And I mean, these are pillows. And so talking about the ears again and like their limitation, these are wide. Because, I mean, plain and simple, you're sitting so far away from them. So they have this big soundstage with just a floor. If your music has big, cranking, 20 hertz wobbling bass, you hear it. And so, you know, what do I think of the sound of these? They're, they're very colored. These are not reference at all. These would be terrible to mix music with because you'd swear all your music was crazy bassy. But these are the daddy of fun. I mean, it's like movies, right? Transformers isn't real, but it looks great. And it's super fun to watch. You know, if you wanted real, you'd go and watch World War II documentaries or other historical things like that. Some crazy stuff has happened for realsies. And this is like a Transformers movie. It's just fun. If these are the only headphones I've used for the day, I love them. But then if I use, you know, some reference headphones and come back to these, I realize just how kind of colored they are. You know, then you listen to dubstep, filthy house tracks, go listen to some outcast. And then all of a sudden, I, I'm grinning ear to ear. And, um, you know, if these look comfortable, you have no idea. They are more comfortable than you can imagine. I when I put them on, I find I just drift away. And how they fit is a big thing for me. Order the LCD 2s. I adore my pair, they're amazing. I can't wear them for longer than half an hour. They just squeeze so hard. But I can smell the comments already. Hey, this is days before it's even been uploaded and I can still smell the comments. No, oh, mate. What about the Skull Candy Crushes? Like, if we're talking about big stinking bass, mate, then you gotta bring up the crushes. And you're right, I do. Right, careful, careful, okay. Yeah, it's true. If you want unsophisticated, ridiculous amounts of bass, you get the crushes. They fit like junk, because these don't angle enough, so like, literally, these bottom sections just push right in your head. And now uh, people told me that they snap in the headband which is a real shame because I, I thought they were built okay and it turns out they're not built okay. <laughs> I know you guys want to hear like these versus the, the Jibba 10 hundreds, right? And I do need to stress that after the last video I did with these, people reported in to say that some of their speakers were damaged due to the recording that these made. So this is your warning, right? That you got, you, you turn it down, right? <laughs> Oh my book self! Unlistenable. What an amazing achievement. I think they're hilarious. Like, I, I let friends try these all the time and they just laugh. It's funny. It's funny. I like it because it's funny. Yeah, they're stupid. <laughs> they're not audiophile grade in any, any regard. And you know, as I said, they fit like crap and they like to break. But if you really are looking for like music destroying bass, well, <laughs> these do exist. But I bet a lot of you are now hopping online to find yourself a set of these. And um, it, is, it is my honor to introduce just the favorite adult pastime, which is disappointment. Oh my 
Boxer. St stay, why are you- Hang on, we need to use a sausage as a chock. Put a guard sausage there. I'm very sorry to tell you that these are ridiculously rare, and I just got lucky when I got them. I, I bought these two years ago. They were just recommended to me online as a listing, and I was like, they look hilarious. I'll buy them. Like, the price was good. They came in their original box, and they came from Japan. I mean, that's just lucky me being near Japan that those listings just pop up really easily. But unfortunately, these were discontinued like 10 something years ago, and they were just kind of ripped away. I mean, rumor I heard was that the factory got ruined with like floodwaters or something, and it was just a loss. And then they just stopped making them. Yes, they're silly headphones. No, they're not naturally balanced. You couldn't use them for mixing, but people adored them. For the people who wanted this experience, there was nothing else on this planet. And these are just ridiculously sought after now. I, I just got so lucky. And by doing a video about them, I've just made this situation so much worse. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know I'd have this kind of influence. I'm just talking about things I like. I didn't mean to destroy people's lives. But um, I know how thankful I am to have a pair of these. Because yeah, these are, these are a collectible now. Come on, Sony. Bring them back, mate. Come on, bring them back. Bring back the boxing gloves. People want it. People want Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons. Especially these stinky names on here. I forgot to say that bit. Mate, one dollar a month. I do extra videos. Although I do have extra free videos in garbage time. Sorry the upload schedule is a bit spotty. It's just when I find time to do stuff. And that little red car's killing me. And I do have the float plane drum stream going on. So sorry there's not a free option. But two bucks eighty a month. Or twenty five for a whole year. And I play along the memes and yell at Frank. But for the one dollar patrons. We're going to take a listen to the DR11s. Yeah, and you know, talk about like, I really do love vintage headphones that they, they are far more exciting to me because it was when everything was being figured out and just, you know, weird relics like this that just don't make any sense anymore. So we're going to talk about these. So thanks so much for watching and mate, I'll see you all next time. Why is anyone else having this problem? Like, I, I just hear a noise and like, what the stink is this thing? Oi, what are you doing here? What's your name? You want to be friends? No, oh, okay, don't worry. <laughs>